What's up everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS slash performance in the dark and light game. First of, all, first of all, sorry, you need to make sure that you're gonna use some set launch option. So you right click on the game properties, go to set launch option and add use at all available core, SM4, D3D10. This you will play in DirectX 10 with this comment and no V-Sync. Uh, this comment will be in the uh, description of the video, so just copy paste it and put it over there. After that, you can go to the config file in the game. Uh, in the config file, you will have uh, more options than the game itself. So to find it, go to your Steam library, Steam app, common, dark and light, DNL, save, config, windows, no editor, and open game user setting. First of all, in this file, you need to uh, search for shadow like this and your distant field shadowing, put this one at false, okay? Uh, this game is not well optimized, so <laughs> you will need to tweak a lot of stuff to get your 60 FPS and shadows in this game is really, uh, it's not well implemented, so just remove it, but you can't remove it, you just can't put this at low. So first of all, this one at false. After that, um, sorry, shadow quality here, put it at zero, zero equal low in the game, really important. For each bracket, if you go to epic, to high, to high and medium, you will gain three to four FPS. So this one is really important. Um, true sky quality, same thing, put it at one, but you can use the in-game um, uh, thing that you can move left to right. So you can do a lot of testing with this one and you will see uh, what's uh, fit the best for your computer. I'd feel shadow quality, same thing. Put this one at zero, really important. You will gain a, a lot of FPS. Uh, texture, this one is less important because if you have a lot of VRAM on your video card, you can put it at I or even a pick uh, if you have more than four gigs. So th this one, you can whatever do whatever you want. Uh, Post-processing quality, I'm putting this one at one. Uh, <sighs> I tried to put a little bit higher, but I saw a big decrease in the FPS and it's not worth it. So this one put it at one. Same thing with the view distance quality, NTL is in quality, one, one, really important. So if you want, you want to look at in the game, what it looks like right now, I'm using sky quality at minimum over there, uh, ground clutter at the mid, uh, mesh detail, the same thing with the mid. I uncheck all those options over here. Even shadow detail, really important, this one. And this is my spec. With this, normally I run 70 to uh, 90 FPS with an RX 480, 8 gig. And my processor is an i7 4790K. So uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just post me your rig, um, CPU, GPU, and RAM. And also look at the description in my video. I will put uh, all the file that you need, config file, and even the uh, uh, comment that you can use uh, for your Steam. So that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe and peace.